Bees are vital to the gardening experience. Without them, we'd be missing our most important pollinators. Think of it, no tomatoes, fresh fruit, the colourful swathes of fresh flowers. Life would be totally different. Imagine a world without bees. It couldn't happen, could it? Well, the world bee population has been steadily declining due to a number of reasons, including varroa mite infestation, poorly kept hedgerows, and more recently, something you may have heard of called colony collapse, where whole nests and hives of bees have died mysteriously. As a gardener, we have a duty to look after the remaining bee population as well as we possibly can especially as another reason for the decline is that we're not growing as many flowers like these. The key element to attracting bees into your garden is easy really. Just grow the flowers that attract the bees to do their pollinating thing and in return they get rewarded with nectar from the flower, a sugary substance which replaces bees expended energy. Like anything else in life, bees have their likes and dislikes. Some flowers are much easier to collect pollen from and get the nectar than the others. These tend to be open like geraniums, where the bee can get right inside with ease, whereas modern roses are much more difficult to get into. Other favourites are lavender, borage and buddleia, all of which have hundreds of tiny individual flowers on the stems. Again, easy for the bees to collect pollen. You may have already noticed that there's lots of blue flowers. That's because bees are attracted to them. But yellow is another favourite as the bee's brain also sees them as blue. Because bees tend to stick with specific types of flowers, there's little chance of cross-pollination. Mainly we're talking here about bumblebees. Honeybees may visit you from a local hive, but you can also attract solitary bees or mason bees to your garden by providing one of these little boxes. The bee makes its home in one of the tubes. So make the bees welcome and in return they'll help you pollinate your flowers, fruit and vegetables. Your whole garden will be buzzing.